Amy here from MakerPad. Today we are going to do a tutorial on an app called Universe. Universe allows you to create a website from the palm of your hand. It's really easy to use and we are going to go over how you can create an e-commerce store or take some form of payment using Universe. So if you haven't already, go ahead and download the app. Otherwise, let's jump into it. Open up Universe and we are going to first create a page using one of the out of the box pages they provide that corresponds with my theme, which is flyer. And then we will create one from a blank canvas. So like I said, I have already chosen a theme for my site in Universe, which is called flyer. So it will be branded with those colors. So I'm going to scroll to the as door page option and tap that. Now I'm going to name my page and keep in mind it is user facing. So I recommend doing something like shop or my store or something along those lines and then create page. This is the store page for my theme. I can add and remove blocks as I need or want. So if I did not want to have product name here, I could tap that block and then hit the trash can icon. And let's say I wanted to add a logo. I could hold my finger down and move it across the grid and I could add a logo. And now I can add an image either from my phone's library or from Instagram. So I will add some handbags from my hypothetical purse store. You can play around with the layouts. Using the text block, you can add in a product description. You can choose a different font if you wanted to. You can make the font bigger or smaller. You can change the alignment and you can change the color. To the right, when I click on this block, there will be a Shopify block. If you haven't already connected Universe to Shopify, you will be prompted to log in. Keep in mind that within your Shopify account, you need to add Universe as a channel on your products within Shopify. Once you're signed in, your products will pull through. Since I didn't use product name for my first product, I'm going to again select that block and hit delete. And I'm going to add another image. Again, I'm going to add a product description and choose my product from Shopify. So obviously I have three products and I only have the option to add two here. So I am going to click on this block and click on add row. Otherwise I have to add rows here and then move each block down. So to recreate um, this layout, I am going to select a rectangle. And because I only have one photo versus many photos, I'm going to select the photo block versus the photo uh, versus the gallery block. So select photo. To add in the product description, you would do a text block. And then you would add your payment block. And we added Shopify blocks on the last two products, but just to show you how you can do different forms of payment, um, I want to show you first the payment block. So you enter in the price and a unique item name, probably going to be more unique than that and then collect shipping address. And if you haven't already linked your account uh, to accept payment, you will get a prompt to sign up as an individual or as a business. Another way you could have done that, I'm gonna delete that block real quick, is add a block and you can do the cash block. And you can link to PayPal or cash. And when an end user, for example, clicks on the PayPal link, it will go to kind of like a Venmo looking screen where you can send someone money over PayPal. And then if you want to use Shopify, you would add the Shopify block. 
Let's say we also wanted to add in one more block that allows people to uh, get updates on new products. You would first do a text block. And then you can add a subscribe block. And once you're done, you would hit publish. So now let's say we want to create our own shop page. We would hit the plus sign and swipe left until you see the blank page type. I'm going to add my logo. And now I'm going to add my products here as a little square with the payment block. I'll do another product here. Then when I was done loading my products, I could add some social links like Instagram. I'm going to make the background transparent. And then do a subscribe block and hit publish. And now I've added my own custom shop page to my universe site. And when people either buy something or subscribe, you can see that information on your audience tab. So this is how you set up a marketplace page within the universe app. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out and thanks for watching.